Hey there, dear friends and deep thinkers. We're playing the new DLC, the Iranian Intermezzo. It's all about Persia, the region of Persia, and everything that goes around here. And we have different main characters, pre-selected by Paradox. Some of them are interesting, some of them are nearly hopeless, and some of them are very interesting, like this, this guy here. It's said that his mission is easy, but that is not entirely true. He's just a small count somewhere in a big, big realm that makes it possible to survive relatively safely, but it's also hard to get up there because we're really an, a no one in there. That is something that I've never played before so we'll play that guy and try to get out there from inside of the realm the summonids are not some of the like traditional realms there it's more like the sufferids that have as we have can see here uh, conquered the regions here and the abbasids all of that was a Zoroastrian region like that is um, the belief in Ahura Mazda and Zarathustra and so on something uh, that is very gentle to the people and very gentle to yeah nature too but it's not like a shamanic um, thing it, it is a monothe it was a monotheistic faith yeah it, it is nearly gone now in this in this region here and yeah, maybe it was a little bit too gentle for this rough land and uh, so Islam came and and took over. Islam that has like a lot of bureaucratic advantages, which is in a way partly some kind of um, yeah a bureaucratic reform of the Christian faith. It is sometimes you read it and it's more like a societal um tractat or something like that than a really religious text like it is not as yeah as passionate as narrative as the christian faith in this in the scriptures it is more like very exact in what people should do and shouldn't do. So it, you could say it is um, another religion that that is so successful because it gave a lot of people something very exact to live by that you don't have to discuss. It is some kind of a security of law that is already... Um, sometimes in detail specified in the Quran and because of that um, Islam gained such a gained such a gained just such a strength and big realms form that with the help of that religious bureaucratic backbone like that part of reliability that makes life for normal people and rulers like more predictable is part of Islam. Like it's the belief in a faith that is predetermined. I mean it's it's similar to that in Christianity, but it's not it's not as strong there. So we will see if we can mold our faith as Ismail Samani of the Samanids 200 years after Islam took over the Persian region. The world turns, where will it take you? And we'll be part of the Iranian intermezzo struggle that has a lot of uh, things. We, we will play on normal and we will let the game rules stay at Normal. We will see what we can do as a very young man here. This is our legion brother at the faith of Maturidism. So what are the main specifics of Maturidism? Just very shortly and then we'll go into the in-game stuff and start playing 
immediately because there's no time to lose, right? So um, the Maturidi school holds the attributes of God are eternal, not separated from God. Ethics have objective existence. So there's, they are not foldable. They are something specific and humans are capable of recognizing them through reason alone. So it's a very rather reasonable faith. Although humans are intellectually capable of realizing God, they need revelations and guidance of prophets and messengers. So they need explanations to realize God. Right? Humans are free in determining their actions within scope of God-given possibilities. So it's not total fatum in materialism. Accordingly, God has created all possibilities, but humans are free to choose. Then we have the uh, religious authorities need reasonable arguments to prove their claims. So they cannot just say it is like that like the Pope would, right? They have, to, um, they have to deliver an argument and that is mostly based on the holy books. Support of science and philosophy. So they are a very, like a, a modern faith and the majority I'd state that in the, the faith does not increase nor decrease depending on one's deeds. It's rather the piety which increases and decreases. So it's, that faith is is in like it has two parts it has the the faith and the piety and uh your faith does not de decrease right um it's the piety it's most definition is the belief in the six articles of faith yeah so the faith is about the six articles we'll come to that soon and the piety um is the so-called fear of god too um, so obedience to God and your faith is the belief in the six articles of faith and that has six six beliefs and then we'll continue to the game so the belief in the existence and oneness of God so that is monotheism like Christianity for example Christianity is also typically monotheist and Judaism is also monotheist that's like that's a whole line it's very related to each other the belief in the existence of angels so, so you need to believe in angels believe in the existence of the books of god of which god is the author so there's the quran and that is was revealed to muhammad the injil that is basically part of the bible revealed to jesus the torah so that's basically the um yeah the jew um the Jews, um, the Jews, holy scripture, right? The Psalms that are revealed to David, the scrolls of Moses, and the scrolls of Abraham. So it, it goes back, right? And the, the belief in the existence of prophets, Muhammad being the last of them, Jesus the penultimate, and others sent before them, like Moses, Abraham, David, Joseph, Jacob. So Muhammad is the last of them, though, so there's no one after Muhammad. And that comes to the to the next one that there's a belief in the existence of the day of judgment because after the last messenger has come um, people must live according to the faith right and that faith is islam here and uh, later there will be the day of judgment and then you'll see how much piety you have basically and that day humanity will be divided into group two groups that of paradise that of hell these groups are composed of subgroups and so on Belief in the existence, also that's the sixth article of faith of God's predestination, um, the divine decree. Due to God's omni omniscience, whether it involves good or bad, right? So, um, a God is all-knowing and powerful. Everything that has happened and will happen in the universe is not only known but commanded by God at the same time so we have seen that human beings are still responsible for their act actions so you cannot go and say like God was responsible for me doing that it that would also not be okay and so we're playing this rather um, science oriented faith right and it's also important because it's in trans -Ox oxiana and that was that was a realm that existed there quite for a for a long while but that broke down like in in that influx of islam transoxiana became ever more um 
ever smaller and less powerful. It's still there, but it's not as, as powerful. For decades, Ismail's family of our guy, Ismail Samani, the Count, the Count of Bukhara, have dominated the governorships of Transoxiana. The sundering of the Caliphate shattered that central authority, leaving the Samanids to squabble against them, amongst themselves for rule. Young Ismail's chance to vie for power comes as he is welcomed as a ruler of Bukhara. Bukhara is a very important trade city. Recently sacked by the armies of the fierce western Khwarezm Shahs, despite his prodigious talents, the rest of his family expect complete and loyal submission. Can you surpass your brothers and restore the glory of Persia? Yeah, that's the problem. Our brothers are far more powerful than we are. And now, we will become Ismail. We've seen, this is the new uh, thing that you get with the DLC, the Iranian Intermezzo. Bloody civil strife embroils the one unassailable Arabian Empire, ruling family murder and war with one another. It's basically a Game of Thrones in Iran or former Persia. The region is in a phase of unrest. Your actions and those of the other participants will determine the future phases of the struggle, like a little bit like uh, the struggle of the Iberian Peninsula. So there's some struggles you can see. War, there's a lot of war effects, and there's culture effects, and what you can do to gain more culture. Um, faith effects, what you can do to gain more faith and to help you with that. So if you play along these lines and choose one of these, you become more powerful in that way and you also influence the struggle phases. Um, the struggle phases, a phase is a general mood come to involve characters and counties within a struggle region. It represents short-term societal trends more temporarily dominating the dialogue of the struggle. So if you use these phases, you'll have more powerful uh, effects to you. May Allah be with me. Allahu Akbar, we are... Vali is Ismail Amaz of Bukhara. Uh, we're a supporter of the caliphal authority. Now, uh, what is a caliph? So a caliph is um, basically the ruler of the Muslim world. And we are currently, we have to click around a bit. Um, we're currently in the time of the Abbasid Caliphate. So um, we're currently a supporter of the caliphal authority. But there was always a struggle about the caliphal authority because um, it's also depending on the on the on the faith branch basically um, you have you're either like the chosen one generally or you even have to be um, in a in a bloodline to the prophet Muhammad Muhammad that that is uh, basically still the the schism that exists today between Sunnites and Skites but let's not get too deep into that let's let's play uh what should we do what do we need we need yeah first that you can see we need children we're a quick guy uh we're a charismatic negotiator that will probably help us with just which is uh seen seen as very good in our faith we're humble we're compassionate we are also of the materialism faith that we can see here so Adaptive, county conversion resistance for 30%. Infidel vessels are light, less likely to join independents and populist factions. That's not that relevant for us right now because we're we're just a small count uh, level, right? Um, opinion of different faith leads is okay. Different faith lead opinion and popular opinion, is that's all relatively okay. We have legalism. As I said, bureaucracy, legalism, that is the main thing that comes with Islam. I think all Islamic faiths here have legalism. So you, you reduce law costs for each virtue a ruler has, but you increase law costs for each sin a ruler has because uh, the law is connected to religion here. Um, it makes just the virtue, as you can see here, that gives us quite a lot of piety a month. An arbitrary, on the other hand, is a sin. So we are, we are very attractive to zealots. Then there's the fatwa. Rulers with high learning may condemn their sinful vassals. The most sinful a vassal is the less learning their ruler needs to condemn them. Condemned vassals are seen as criminals and may have their titles revoked. So we can't get titles like that. Law costs 
are reduced. Uh, main doctrines, male dominated, we're pluralist, relatively pluralist. Um, but opinion penalties, there's lay clergy. We have the Hajj list, like a special pilgrimage. And we are Sunni, right? Um, Abu Bakr was chosen by the Ummah as their rightful leader, both politically and religiously. So that is not, as you see, that we are in a part of the Sunni faiths, um, where Abu Bakr was chosen as the rightful leader. He's not related, I think, by blood to the Prophet uh, Muhammad. So uh, that is um, rather a, um, one could say, societal decision to give Abu Bakr the the actual <laughs> the actual power and Sunni so are the more um, like society based faith compared to Skites which are more of of the um, one could say relig more religiously religious even they believe in in the bloodlines and all of that that is very similar to Christianity right and as you can see, we have uh, poly polygamous, of course. We can have up to four spouses, one main spouse, though. Divorce must be approved. There's no bastards. All children are equally legitimate. And you can have cousin marriage, even. Same-sex relations are shunned. Divine sea, shunned, shunned, shunned. Kinslaying, though, is accepted, which is crazy. Um, and witches are criminals. Clerical function, arms and pacification. And you have less domain taxes because there's always a part of uh, taxes that is by religion determined to go to the poor. That is part of Islam too. Like the, uh, it was, it is different ev everywhere. But like, it was like the tenth part of your income goes to the poor in some kind of way. That was the thing. Clerical gender only men. That is very typical for Islam, of course. Clerical marriage is allowed. Um, clerical appointment temporal but for life. We have the teachings of the Prophet. Uh, Non-Islamic faith with the Islamic syncretism tenet are considered hostile instead of evil. Mutual 30 opinion bonus with faiths that have the Islamic syncretism ten tenet and jizya. The jizya vassal contract and tax decree is there. So if you have some someone with a different faith they can pay more money and give you more troops and uh, oh yeah, it, they can give you some troops, and basically they they just pay more money, and they can be integrated. This, this is something historical, right? Historically, um, most of these regions here from Zoroastrianism, they could just they, they would for a while just pay more taxes, and uh, have Islamic like administrators mostly. And then it would be good. Like there was no forceful conversion, but it was just, a <laughs> and that was why this this region became Islamic. Um, if you were Islamic, you paid a lot of less taxes, and uh, that was made by the Jizya. That was uh, so they were welcome because because they were not forceful, but they had like that. Yeah, you have to pay less taxes then, and so more and more people, at least the successful people. Um, yeah, turned turned to the new faith because it was just easier to live with that. It, it's always easier to live with as taxes, right? So, and uh, we are, but we are 200, 200 years after that, in a very very cool situation. We need to find a spouse. Whom could we? Whom could we go for? We we would really probably like a potential alliance. But what would also be good is um, be loyal to our our half-brother and liege and gain something that way and that's probably the way we want to go for that we are already quick and diplomatic and that's that's rather the way we'll go rather than the way of war we are okay at war but not good we have some prowess but not a very good one unfortunately we're very unlearned and we're also not really intriguing because we're just So we can we can already search for some traits here. Mm. You can see we have Jagana. She's Bedouin. She's Asharism, though not Maturidi faith. 
Uh, we'll see if there's someone much to ready. We have Avise. A wandering righteous impartial. She's also just. She's forgiving and she's also compassionate. So she would be just a good fit for us. And I think we can go for her. She is also uh, quick and fecund. And if, if someone of our guys would be fecund, that would be, of course, great. Uh, we cannot afford a grand wedding. So we'll accept that proposal. Now, um, we'll see about the council positions, right? We cannot really appoint a court chaplain. We just don't have enough people. Yeah, that's that's a start, right? You just don't have a court chaplain. It that's that's just how it goes. There's nobody here. Just nobody. We have to do that all ourselves. Okay. Um what we should do after marrying, we, sh we should pay homage to our liege and uh, we can then petition the liege to ask him to help us in some kind of way. That's probably something that we will do. We have some income. It's not bad, really, um, because it's Bukhara. And Bukhara is, is a rather important thing. And you can see that um, we have some land where we can, where we can buy stuff from. Uh, we have some neighbors that are not as powerful, but we cannot declare war. Right, so we need a cousin's belly. And the question is, how will we get land? We will see how that goes. Maybe maybe through later marriage. We'll see. Uh, we have to choose a lifestyle. We're currently in diplomacy. That is our education. We're good at that. We should go for that. Um so, as we're young, we could just go for a family focus that gives us two diplomacy and 20% fertility. So we could get some kids and marry them off and have some alliances that way. So we'll wait for a short while to marry. Uh, we'll also see if we have... We have nothing. We have absolutely nothing. We're starting at the bottom. As you can see, we are of House Samanid. Safety through God. And this is currently our house. We're in the competition in the family can be a healthy thing. It pushes the members. Yeah. Our house vessels are more likely to create claim and factions. That's not relevant for us. But monthly lifestyle experience is increased by 5%. We can establish Futuwa lodges. So promote virtues and prowess. A capital's youth. We can do that. I think with faith. Yeah, it costs us some faith. So what would Futuwa Lodges bring us? That's new, right? All unmarried young men living in our capital have a chance of increasing their martial and prowess skills and gaining a virtuous trait for the next 20 years. Currently, two young men in our capital would benefit from this decision. Yeah, established Futuwa Lodges. Here we go. Marshal per level of fame plus one. That would help us. Uh, levy maintenance goes down and reinforcement rate goes up. That's so it's very it's very nice. We'll sponsor the lodges. Uh, we have 17 living members. We're we're part of a at the start for, for for the start relatively big family, and but we are one of the really least important people here, except the kids. We are Barely above a kid. Uh, we have too few spouses and we're not applying. Yeah, we, the, the one thing that we need and that we should afford is definitely a court physician. So everyone here is terrible. Is there anyone who could learn that? No, we have, we have good people, as you can see here, but not for this position. So... Really, we need we need to search for a physician. It's just we can also invite Aswaran. So that's basically knights. We can search for tax collectors, introduce new fashion. We'll search for a physician. Here we go. We can negotiate uh, an alliance with our brother, but he will not accept because. Yeah, of the difference in rank and the opposing struggle side. He's a detractor of the Caliphate. We support the Caliphate. Could 
we could change that probably we have few knights we can negotiate alliances though um with one of our brothers here and our small brother here we will do that because if you're so tiny you need you just need more people it's it's the way it's the way let's have our marriage shortly I always say I gladly accept your hand in marriage may Allah bless our union my perceptive husband yeah indeed and that's that's her Valia Avise of Bukhara. She's a very intelligent woman. And she she has all the traits that we like. And we have the traits that she likes. So we should get along with her just fine, probably. Um, and as a young man, we will... I mean, she is... She's quick as we are. So we're probably connecting on a very good level with also being just and compassionate so we'll romance her uh, what should we do we could write her a love poem we we are a good negotiator so the candle is burning low when i finally finish my poem before i send it i give it one last read um, your femininity is the life-giving son of my world i have no other desire but to be by your side that I may know true joy, you and I belong together. The waiting is unbearable. What does she say? Well, I cannot encourage you. While well, it is my life, I'm most grateful for your kind words. You yours faithfully, Avise. She won't resist my charms for too long. So it was kind of okay. It wasn't great. It just wasn't great. Um, we've established the lodges. The next step is we should pay homage. Um, we have nothing, so... Um, we could also give a hook, but that's very risky. We'll just pay homage and travel there. Mm. There's three chances of danger here. And it's still extremely expensive for us. We could hire mercenary guards. They are expensive. A desert warrior would help us. Right? So that is a very cheap journey. We have that guy who is a desert warrior. A good desert warrior he is. And we're going over there. We've also gained a knight. Uh, not employing a court physician. Yeah, that decision will come soon. A fresh start, all packed and proper. We have finally come to the point where we can start our journey from Bukhara to our next destination at Samarkand, also a very important city. The past. Like the Mongols will get it later. As we depart from the holding and our mounds start treading new ground, I'm certain we will return soon and in one piece. We're going... And we have a court physician. Huh? We have Koya. He's quite experienced. He costs us 50. Sharnas is terrible. Let's see about Koya. I mean, he's, he's a physician. Novice physician. He is a mastermind philosopher. He's also a bold fool, but he's maturity. And he's not, like, sinful or something. So he, it would be good to have him. He's quite experienced. Um, hopefully we can keep him for a while. It's a big investment, but hey. Limited crown authority. Here we go. Here we go. We're reined in. We're already being reined in. Let's see. Um, our current fascination is mods. And this is our culture. Right? So we're Tajik culture. We have caravaneers. Wanderers gain extra economic skills over time. So when we're traveling, that's good for us. Futuwa. Yeah, we have IRS men of arms, bumbling, squire, confident knights. So we can really fight well. We have the right people to fight. We have knights. The city keepers, the guild's line of buildings can be constructed one era early. Architect provides a prestige bonus. City holdings give more popular opinion. Rulers of the culture are more likely to construct city holdings. And city buildings construction time goes down. So we'll have good cities. 
were irrigation experts, with, which leads to better development growth. And uh, disease resistance is also better. And desert danger, mountains danger, drylands danger is better. So we can also travel better. And we are the beacon of learning. Pensive people are better here for us. They're, we'll get them more often. Learning per level of devotion is increased. Monthly learning lifestyle experience is increased. So we might get the, the developers. Um, and we cannot choose anything else but mods. Yeah, fortification buildings are always, always good. But someone else will choose that for us right now. Let's see what we can say at our liege. Taking the knee, servants usher me into Amirin Amirian Nazar's great hall in Kishish, where he sits his throne, waiting to hear my uh, to hear my pledge. Uh, also, sorry for slaughtering these these names. I kneel at the feet of my lord and pledge the many oaths of homage, as his scribes record the event. With that, the ceremony is complete. I have nothing to offer my Amirin except my promise to faithfully serve as a vassal of the Grand Emirates. He bids me to arise and confirms his satisfaction, along with my rights to the lands I rule in his stead. We will hail him, and it was, it was good to us. Travel plan will be resumed, and we're traveling back already. I didn't want any much detours for now. And here we go. At long last, I'm finally home. There's nothing better than arriving back in Bukhara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We only traveled for 39 days, and uh, our desert warrior is gone again. Um, we can now petition the leech if we want that. And we're back to our wife. She has ruled in our stead for a, for a bit. Um, we can petition our liege. And then we would also have to travel there. The, the question is, can we do that already? Um, he kind of likes us now. Because we paid him respect, right? And we're siblings. But he's also paranoid. And we're in a different faction of the struggle currently. Um, I would say we first uh, romance our wife. Then we try to make things better with our brother. And then we'll try to petition him. Council position, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. We can assign our court physician to the court chaplain, which is really great because he's a mastermind philosopher. Here we go. So you're also the court imam, huh? Very, very sweet. Can we convert faith somewhere? No, we're, we're already faithful enough. But he's a, just a very, very good court imam. And look at that. We'll get so much piety, it's crazy. Mm, and what, what has he given us here? Um, let's see, that's the dynasty, right? Um, we haven't had anything yet. Anything at all. This is the struggle currently. Current phase is unrest. Mm. So we're going into the stabilization phase, as you can see here. Wow, that, <laughs> the Sunni Caliph dies violently. And that's all the things that could happen that would give points to that struggle. Right? So what is the war effect? As you can see here, there's a lot to wars. Cultural effect is it's rather bad for culture. Faith effects, um, it increases definitely the faith and the zealots. And there's other effects. Building construction time goes down and so on. Um, there's a whole lot of things. The involvement is, yeah, realm capital is in the struggle region. Faith is involved, culture is involved. So we are very, very involved. There's 14 faiths and 13 cultures involved in that. 344 participants. So it will be interesting, really, really interesting what we can get going. And... Uh, the question is also what to do. Oh, she, she doesn't really look in a, in a good mood. We will see um, if we can get more spouses going. Right, we have um, different spouses here. We would probably really like someone 
who also has maturitism. And then we have these two, which is uh, a shine. She's comely, diligent, honest, and shy. And Ipak, she's hale, lazy, but generous and honest. Lazy is not a sin, though. Lazy is not a sin here. And then... Um, let us see. Someone without traits, we'll see. There's Uslam. Yeah, she's, she's a lustful dwarf. A sadistic and arrogant lustful dwarf. But she has the greatest things here. Um, is there anyone who could give us something? Yeah. Banafshe Abdaladukt. Okay, she is diligent, shy, and callous. I'm unsure. And there are young ones where we'll get a later alliance with some very, very unimportant people okay then uh, maybe Uslam mm. nah I don't think so I'm not sure maybe someone will have to convert right um, so we want someone Islamic at least uh, we could maybe take Kaif, if she wants that, or rather, she has no say in the matter. <laughs> but someone genius is probably a good choice. He accepts, and she accepts. She's a bold gentlewoman, she will go herself. And Varya Ipek of Bukhara also accepts. Wonderful. Now, um, we will see if she will, we will, if she will convert. Yeah, she will convert. She might continue Ismailism, but very unlikely. She agrees, and she's now much ready as well. So we have beautiful wives that will also give us prestige and uh, we have our main wife and she's a righteous empath and she's also extremely good um, we can see if we have some more jobs for our people here and if our wives can do something at the council I don't think so because it's all male dominated but uh, the spy master she could be our spy master, right? But he could be too. I don't know. I mean, oh, oh. our spy master is really bad. He's a vassal, though. Ah, oh. one of our wives, really. Um, yeah, I think we'll take. that one wife because we need to be protected right she's just so excellent in that and she will hopefully hopefully not kill us she's brave trusting and a little bit sadistic okay we will have to sway her too later all going later and ah if that blinks then something something happens i guess So there's currently not much happening, but that will change soon. We have the request. Let me prove my devotion to you in any way you deem fit. You should be able to sustain yourself on nothing but your love for me for many days. Oh my, we could become slightly starved. I mean, we're very young. We can afford that, right? Um, let's see, we could... <laughs> uh, 
ja, ja, ja. Disgusted, insulted. Devotion. Mm. We have a chance for some devotion, okay? My devotion will carry me through. We managed to do that, and she's grateful for that. She likes us more now, which is, of course, very good. Yeah, we're also saving some money because we can surely build some things here. Not the duchy building, but like some watchtowers would maybe be nice, or some fields. As you can see, would give us a lot of income. Desert agriculture also comes to mind. We have the Ark of Bukhara here, which is a good, good uh, thing here, which increases our fort level by a lot. Hmm, hmm, hmm. There's already some war going on, but we're not like into that war. We're just, we're humble, we're compassionate, and we're very diplomatic. And we're also slightly starved. But it's fine. A rare flower. As my sweetheart and I walk through the Bukhara Gardens, I gesture at the greenery around us for all their beauty. There isn't a single flower which rivals your own, my lady. There is one, she says with a mischievous smile, a rare orchid from the Mogia Confederation, which is nearly impossible to cultivate. The abandoned mosque is the only place where it thrives in these regions. Um... We could accept that with a special gift that would increase our success. We could use our diplomacy to please her. We could brave the ruins, mm. save some money and potentially... Yeah, we'll try to brave the ruins for her and we find an orchid. We're so lucky. <laughs> Because that will progress the romance, while being diplomatic will not progress the romance. That is why we're doing that. We want some... Yeah, I mean, she's the same age, of course. We want we want to have romance with our wife, like any young guy would. We're not that experienced and cool and calculating guy of maybe later years. But we're, we're still maybe a little bit idealistic. I mean, we're also just and stuff, so just humbly compassionate. That just makes that... Mm, yeah, the unity is going down. An alliance is formed between the supporter of caliphal authority and detractor of the caliphate. Yeah, okay. Interesting, interesting. Concession phase is nearing, rather. Unpleasant pleasantries. I'm attending a dance in Bukhara to spend some time with our wife, our main wife, Valya Avize. The mere thought of touching hands makes my heart jump. When I arrive, I find her stuck in a conversation with my vessel, Nayib Kashya. Now, um, that is where our diplomacy is really good. My charms improve any conversation. We gain kindness. There's also some big struggles here going on between the Safarids, the old empire, and the Tahirids, one of the new empires, are struggling here. And we can see um, both detractors of the Caliphate are struggling against, against each other, and we are part of the Summonids. We have this unlocked the desirable match, glory hound, vessel opinion, mar marriage acceptance plus 30. Very, very cool. Um, that will help us in, in future also forming alliances by marrying our kids off, right? Um, that's our dynasty. And we can see that here. Glory. Glory hound vassal opinion is also going up. The Summonids. Yeah, we might might hear in the next episode a little bit more about the Summonids. Every time I close my eyes, I see Valyavise's face. Sleep will not come. The sight of her chamber window makes my heart stutter so close and yet so far when I'm in the garden. But wait, who is that climbing up the tower? The shady figure stops by Avise's window and unlatches the shutters. Um, 
Guards, there is... Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, my beloved is in danger. I must save her. We need to go forward. The sounds for the struggle is the greatest motivator I have ever known. Without care for life or limb, I hoist myself through her window. I feel as if I have plunged into a frozen lake. She's on the floor, the intruder pushing her down, a gleaming blade between them. With a roar, I grab the villain by the collar and throw him into the wall. The rest is a blur. When the danger's over, I turn towards her. Avise, are you all right? I ask cautiously, as if my words were a spell. She finally unfreezes and throws herself into my arms. Thank Allah you're here, Ismail. Yeah, yeah. Um, I will never let you get into harm's way again. She's our soulmate, the eternal love. We rescued her from a thief. Like everyone would. That's what thieves are for in this game. Catalyst triggered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have our romance going on. And after the romance, we should use our diplomacy for more. And uh, that more is our brother. Mm. We will be able to sway him, I hope, for a bit. Why is that so low? Ah, uh, because he's we have a low rank and he's paranoid. But still, we will try. We will try to get him. Uh, he's an irrational quarreler. Oh my goodness me. He might start a war at any time now. Ah, that is his heir. The ill Shazad. And where is his wife? He has four kids though. His primary heir is a woman. That's a bit weird, I have to say. It's a bit weird, but we will sway. Hmm. After we've swayed, we will try to petition the leech. And we're collecting money right now. So we can build something that will be good for us. Right, what is the plan that we have? Um, first, we, we are more diplomatic, so we need money. And um, we also have dry lands here. We have more dry lands. Yeah, so we're in the dry lands here. We're going to have less development growth and more danger here. But that's not a big influence. Let's see. So we can have farms and fields here. That gives us the most income and reduced cost for a feast, which is also good for us as a diplomat. Um, desert agriculture also makes a lot of sense there. Um, but we have to get 150 gold and then we can build that, which is just superior to most things. From the income side. And we would just want to do that first. Can have a look around. How is the tirade thing? The tirades are losing. There's a shikedom of ban here in the middle. Pregnancy. My wife is bearing my child. Cannot wait to hold the babe in my arms. And what a good babe it will be. Frozen delights. Before anyone else, my keen-eyed and sweet-toothed court imam, Koya, has noticed a conspicuous deficiency at the dinner tables. There's no faludi, he exclaims, referring to that cold desert with noodles, syrup, and rose water that is every Persian's delight. I sent for the purveyor, he continues, and I was told that the Yakhal ice houses in Firabur have collapsed in an earthquake. We must do something at once, lest the whole court will suffer and become so haggard one could mistake us for eastern mystics. So we have these frozen delights, what, what shall we do? Um... We don't need that kind of excess. Uh, um, you are right. We will, I will send gold to restore the ice houses. Ah, oh, okay. The Vilaya of Firabr. Which is our title? We we'll lose the broken Yak Charles. 
the ice houses collapsed in an earthquake. We could restore them. Uh yeah. Let's let's do that, right? That that is very diplomatic too. You're right, I will send gold to restore the ice houses. So we'll get that. It's a little bit of a role play, right? We we wanted to gain money in, in theory, strategically to um to get our farms up and running, but it's definitely also good to do other things like that, right? Um improved development is also Something really good for us. Ah, look at the summonades. It's not clear that we will win. Competent quadis. I cannot work like this, my tax collector. Rumtish exclaims, frustrated and dejected. Every Sharia court of the Vilaya is a wretched hive of incompetence, hampering all my efforts. Good tax farming need competent quadis. Like a quadi is um, like a judge, right? But... Um, we might look into this uh, at another time too. The Cardi um, is, yeah, like a central figure of the jurisdiction. To keep the local magnets in check, to make your rule just in the eyes of God. Here it is again, the reliability of law. You must give the funds to employ more and better people. Oh. Yeah, I would really like to get that, but look at that. Yeah, 25. That would be okay, but but we don't have the money. We don't have the money right now. We just restored these delicious ice houses. And yeah, that, that's, that's we were slightly starved. That is why this was so attractive to us. Right, getting the ice houses going and the sweets and everything. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Oh, look, let's have a look. We have some dry lands here. So it's not complete desert, as you can see here. It's dry lands. And dry lands are okay to live in. A lot of what is dry lands here, though, has in today's time become. A desert. We have an heir. Ismail Summonade, our player Aaron's son. And look at him. He's really he's intelligent. Wow, that's so nice. Um, someone will have to educate him. Ismail? Yeah, sure. Sure, Ismail. One day, child, you will carry on my legacy. He's, he's good. We will be his guardian. Little Ismail. My name is Ismail, right? Yeah. Ah. That's the little one. That's the little one. Can we give him something? He has a little emperor's tunic. No, no, no. Um, he could get something of the nobility, right? Um, loan of no, he's high. Yeah, yeah, we shouldn't go overboard, right? That's nobility. Here again, that's just a normal nobility stuff. Um, you can gain a little cloak, why not? We were all travelers here often, so let's go for that. Um, hair. How should he have his hair? Mm. Epic dreads? No, no, no. We'll do something... Short sides? Nah. Curly? I'm not sure. Um... This seems okay. Uh, what could he wear on his head? I don't know, like a little cap, no. Um, a basket. 
My goodness, the side crown. He could wear a little turban. Mm. A simple turban. Yeah, I mean, he will not be like the, a wide turban. Yeah, let's give him a wide turban. That's, that's nice. That's noble enough. Not too noble. He could have spectacles. A face mask. A flower crown. Coat of arms. Nah. Could have some leg wear. Interesting, interesting. Just depends. Eastern noble leg wear. Sure. This is our kid. Does he look great? Ismail. He can barely lift his head with all of that turban. Being zero years old too. Loyalty or fear. As I my vassals owe me allegiance. My worth is word is law. But how much is obedience without devotion worth? Uh, in times of crisis, a slow response or a half-hearted effort can lead to disaster. Can I afford such a risk? Um... Yeah, I mean, I have more important men to impress. That would help us with our half-brother. Um, yeah, I have more important men to impress. Yeah, we have him to impress, which is just uh, the way it is. We have swayed him a bit already. And he likes us. New law. Competitive succession. Ooh. The titles will be divided equally between our children. House unity is competitive. Okay. Yeah. There are things happening here. And as you can see, the Suffereds have returned their strength. But this guy has not married yet. It's a little crazy. He will surely marry soon. The Abbasids have problems. The Caliphate in danger. Khazarites doing nothing. There's something new here. Mm, we cannot yet do anything here. We're not employing a wet nurse. Yeah, we should maybe go for a wet nurse. Our wife can do that. Uh, okay. She's actually average at that. That's good. That's good. Yeah, wet nurse also helps a lot. But we cannot really afford more. It's just, it's the way it is. We can station a man at arms regiment. Yeah. Why not? We can station them in Bukhara. Uh, I cannot increase because it's too expensive. Yeah, we have some IR, but they are not, uh, we cannot afford much. It's just just the rela uh, reality of things. We need money first, and everyone comes asking for money, right? We can have jurisdictions here, and this is the new uh, tax collector guy. So let's see, tax decrease, basic taxes. And there are some other taxes, luxury taxes imposed upon the wealthy um, that will decrease the opinion of of us. Icta grants, mm, Ghazi statues, um, and we have normally basic taxes. If we're really well known, we can go for the Sakat, for example, because then the lead opinion will not be that important. Um, other than that, yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's. Um, the problem is that cities and so on will not pay as much. I mean, we could try. The vassal taxes are 0 0.5. So that would be increased by 0 point roughly 2. 
Um, I don't think that's worth it to have them. Mm -hmm. We have one taxpayer clan. So this guy is maybe a little bit over uh, paid. He's following Zoroastrianism. And was a, that was actually not that uncommon there. The Zoroastrians served as some administrators for quite a while. Even though we could, of course, um, demand conversion from him, which we would do. Right? It's just That's just the way it is. And he agreed to the conversion. That will help us in a way. Because he will, in the end, rather be happier about that, because we have the same faith. Gain something from di diplomacy. Let's see. Um, befriend would be really great. Uh, groom to rule would be great for our children too. Firm hand, yeah. Hmm. Befriend is just a very, very good thing to have. Thoughtful is for sending gifts and stuff, and also diplomat is for, for wars sometimes. Benevolent intent, we have a firm hand, yeah. That's also more powerful. That is more like the family focus, family hierarchy. So befriend or groom to rule. We have here heart of family bound by blood. We don't have many children yet. There will many will come. So we'll go groom to rule first. While we're swaying our half brother. Yeah, here our wife is is pregnant. Oh, our wife and spy master. Interesting, interesting. We could. Um, mm, we could learn her language, but no. Not really a great idea. Because we have people to sway. Especially our brother, who doesn't really, really like us. Ho, ho, ho. Our wet nurse is also bearing our child. Overworked tax collector. The hour is late yet. I can see a flicker of light coming from the next room. Ramtish is still awake with heavy eyes. He lifts his head and notices my presence. Oh, forgive me, my lord. But I have still to sort through these latest tax accounts. Um, hmm. Good, my vassal expect that taxes to be handled efficiently. So the taxpayers, we only have one taxpayer, so um, he should also have a great opinion of us. Why don't you take a break? He's, he's probably a good one, and he has converted for us, so we're a little bit lenient with him. It's all nice. Like, it's quid pro quo. One for the other. A ma misunderstanding. It seems that my diplomatic overtures uh, to my half-brother have caused a major misunderstanding. I've received a letter which makes it clear he thinks I've been pursuing a different goal entirely. I'm your brother for Allah's sake. I do not need to read to get onto the point. Ah, oh, that's a big misunderstanding. Oh, no. Oh, no. What the heck did he do? Ah, uh, we cannot sway him for a while, I, ge I guess. Um, hmm. But then, um, how about we seduce her? She's sadistic, though. Mm, maybe we'll just sway her, and that works. Here we go. It's always good to sway your spy master. We, can, we, we cannot yet petition the liege. It would be uh, it would be different than it should be. Mm, someone is plotting to kill me, says our wife. We must stop the villain behind this, Kaif. At least she's an excellent spy master. 
We can also see if there is anything ready for us. No. I hope somebody invites us because we cannot afford much. We could convert to the local culture. That's also something we could do. Uh, we're Tajik. The culture in Bukhara is Sogdian. And here, everyone is Kurmazdism, which is kind of strange, yeah, but um, we should change that faith, right, uh, in Bukhara first. Hmm, irrelevant title. The title of Arabian Empire is now held by Caliph Abdallah. That's our new Caliph. A very, very young Caliph. Um, he is a supporter of Caliphal authority, of course. Uh, he's pensive and generous. And he's here. In what was formerly the Abbasids, and what is now already the Arabian Empire. Wow. So we have a really force, a, a big force to be reckoned with here. And there are Shari, which is kind of problematic for us, I think. Mm. No, they're also Sunni. Okay, okay. At least that my son. We have another son, Shariar Samanid. Son by her. Oh, she has reconverted to Ismailism. Okay, Shakriya. Um, okay, may you grow to be strong and wise. Ah. Yeah, she has converted, but she has now converted back. Oh, well. It is how it is. It is how it is. Um, and we have a daughter. Okay. Uh, but that other son, where is he? He's, he isn't bad, right? Who should educate him? We will also educate our other son. Then we have our daughter, who is named Golgon. And it's a little bit... yeah. Um, I mean, it could happen, I guess. Golgon the Little. A perfect marriage candidate. Who would it educate the child? Um... We will, I think, send her over. Um, oh, curses, he already has, yeah, he's already guarding his kids. Oh, well then, um, need to find someone else for our daughter. Her wife is good. Uh, who has got the best learning? Our Imam. Sure. Here we go. And we really have a great time. We're cradled by sickness. Ah, Shakriya. There's no end to the tears. Hush now, Shakriya. Please don't cry. Ooh. How's he doing? He's, he's poor. He's already ailing. My goodness. The little quick one. What shall we do without him? Suffrage at war again? No, the Tyrids though. And we have another daughter, Sheila Samanid. My wife. Who shall educate the little one? Our wife? Okay, she can do it herself. So let's have a look. Um, so the Samanids haven't changed yet. 
You can see that we have the Arabian Empire now, which will be a big factor. If this guy doesn't break the, the, the empire, then they have the potential to be extremely successful because of such a big country and all. The Safarids have also grown, but they have... Uh, oh, they have an heir now, the Shazada here. She's an atheist, so... Mm, we'll see if she can do what's necessary uh, to keep that together if, if her dad dies. And... Now I'd say we'll make a short pause until, yeah, tomorrow. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming. Um, we'll continue to make this a little bit historical, a little bit role play, and also a little bit, I mean, geared to hopefully some success. But this is the diplomatic way. We're a diplomat. We're also just humble and compassionate. We're not really that ambitious to push through everything, but we'll see if we can get some things right for our kids and us. We also have two alliances already, so maybe one day we will gain a chance to get something. Maybe from our neighbor and rival that guy. We can see if we can send someone of our council there to... Mm, Steal some titles, maybe. See you soon. Happy gaming. This is Monocan signing out. Have a great time until then.